Today I'm going to be showing you something that I promise you you're not going to find anywhere else on YouTube. You guys know what a stream deck is, right? It's like this thing that's got a bunch of buttons on it and you can control OBS from it so you can change scenes, toggle sources on and off. But pushing buttons is lame. That's 2019. We're in 2020 and in 2020, I am too lazy to push buttons myself. In fact, I'm so lazy, I decided I'm going to make my viewers push the buttons for me. And guess what? I'm going to make you guys pay for it too. That's right. You too can let your viewers control your stream and do pretty much most of the same things that this guy can do. And best of all, you can do it for free. What do you mean people can control my stream? So we're talking things like hosts, raids, bits, subs, chat messages, even channel points. If you guys don't know what channel points are, it's a newish feature on Twitch that lets viewers gain points by watching your stream. Then they can redeem those points for all sorts of rewards that you can customize yourself. Now, what kind of rewards are we talking about? Well, Twitch actually sent out an email with some of their ideas, so let's have a look at them. Number two, drink water. Boring. Number five, do push-ups. Trying to kill me, man? Number eight, change light color. I mean, that's kind of disrespectful to the viewers in chat who can't even see colors. Okay, so these ideas are pretty lame. I got some better ideas. What if we could set it up so that if someone redeems a thousand channel points, we can switch the camera to like this back camera here. And I know I'm not wearing pants, stop looking. Or what if I could let you guys punch me in the face? Punch me. Do it. Ow! Not to get out! Stop punching me! <sighs> ah! Or even better, what if I let you guys use channel points to give me street cred? I don't even know what that does. What is that? I've never seen that attack. <laughs> Let's talk about that. What's up guys, it's Nutty. Before we get started, make sure to do all that subscribe garbage. We do a whole bunch of videos to help you guys get started with your Twitch stream. Also, if you guys wanna ask me any questions, make sure to drop into my Twitch stream. We talk about all things to do with streaming, including what you're gonna see in today's video. I'll leave a link down below to where you can find that, but you guys don't care about that. So on to whatever I was gonna talk about. Here's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna make your Twitch stream more interactive by letting your viewers use bits, subs, channel points, all that good stuff to control your OBS install, essentially letting people take over your stream. And the way we're going to be doing that is by using a new app for Windows that basically only five people in the world know about. So you wouldn't have heard this anywhere else. It's called Leorin Board. And the reason it's called that is because the guy who made it, his name's Leorin. And the only reason why I know about it is because I know Leorin. I've known him for a few years now. And he actually told me about this idea a few months back when he first conceptualized it. And basically what Leorin Board is, is... Well, it's another Stream Deck alternative. If you guys aren't aware, the most successful video right now on this channel is my five Stream Deck alternatives video. So I've already looked at apps like Deckboard and Touch Portal, which are both really, really good, and I actually use them myself. But Leorin Board is the only one that can be triggered using bits, subs, all that stuff that I keep mentioning. So being a Stream Deck alternative, it does have an Android app similar to how Deckboard and Touch Portal have, but I gotta be honest with you, I haven't even used it and I don't really care about using it because those two apps do a really good job already. What I really care about is the chat interaction part. And for that, you just need the Windows app and you don't need a phone for it. So if you're worried about having to need a phone, you don't need one. So we're not gonna be covering the Android app at all, but maybe in another video. But enough yapping, what do you guys actually need? You're gonna need to download two things. So first, of course, you're gonna need the Leoran Board app. And the second thing you're gonna need is the OBS WebSocket plugin. And basically all this plugin does is it lets Leoran Board communicate with OBS. So it allows it to change scenes, sources, all that good stuff. I left the link down below to where you can download both of those. Now, first things first, this only works for OBS Studio because I know one of you is gonna ask, does this work with Streamlabs OBS? I warned you. Now the OBS WebSocket plugin is pretty easy to install. Just follow the instructions, it's all there. But for the Leorin board app, you're gonna download a zip file. And when you extract that zip file, you're gonna see three folders. The first folder is gonna be the Leorin board receiver for PC. And the other two folders are gonna be the Stream Deck apps 
for both PC and Android. Like I said, I don't really care about the Stream Deck app stuff, so you can just ignore those folders. What we really care about is that receiver. Open up the receiver, and the first time you open it up, you're gonna be asked to put in the OBS WebSocket port number. Again, the app needs this information so it can communicate with OBS. If you don't know what these numbers are, chances are you can just leave it at default and it's fine. But if you wanna make sure, go into OBS, go to Tools, and go to WebSocket Server Settings. If you can't find that in the Tools menu, then you probably don't have the OBS WebSocket plugin installed correctly, so go back and do that again. You're also going to want to click auto connect to OBS and auto connect to Twitch. This is going to make more sense in a second. Click accept and then you'll see this page. And I gotta be honest, Leoran, this page looks ugly as sh demonetized. This page might not be super intuitive. So first thing you want to do is click on the button that says connect to OBS. It's just going to connect the app to OBS. How do I know that? because it says so on the button. Next, you're going to want to click link Twitch account, then open URL, and then accept the permissions there. That's just going to link your Twitch account to the app. Again, I knew that because it says, it says link to Twitch. And finally, we want the app to start listening to sub, host, and raid events. So just click on connect to Twitch. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's going to connect my Twitch account, right? Not so fast, Sonic the Hedgehog. The app's going to start yelling at you, being all like, you must be running this TLS transmitter thing. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell's a TLS transmitter? Good question. I don't know. But if you go into the unzip folder, you'll see a file called TSL transmitter. It does TLS. TSL, I don't know, T TSL transmitter. Anyway, it's an HTML file. So what you want to do is you want to go into OBS, add a browser source, select local file and point at that HTML file. You don't actually have to display this browser source anywhere. So once you've added it, you can just hide it, put it in a scene that you don't even use and not even think about it again. If you've done it correctly, those three buttons that you just clicked will all be grayed out. And the next time that you open the app, if you selected auto connect earlier, it should automatically try to connect to those things and they'll all be grayed out. If you see that, you're good. Okay, so here's where the fun stuff starts. On the right side is a scrolling list of items and this wasn't super clear to me, but if you click on one of the items and go inside, you'll see what looks like a stream deck. Basically, each of the items in this list is its own deck with its own set of buttons that you can lay out. So if you're using an Android app, this is exactly what you would see. So we're gonna start by creating a brand new deck. So create a brand new deck, click on it, and inside you'll see an empty grid. And if you click on one of the cells, you can see a button that says create new button. Then if you right click on the button that you just created, you'll see some options there for like adding sound effects and keyboard macros. But the option that we really care about is that add commands option. Click on the plus sign and you'll see a bunch of options for things like changing scenes, toggling sources on and off, even things that like a $200 stream that can't do like toggling filters and things like motion effects. I haven't even played around with that. That sounds cool. I'm going to do something really simple. We're going to just add a switch scene event and then change scenes to my just chatting scene. Just ignore the fact that I have like a billion scenes. What That's a topic for another video. Then I'm going to add a second switch scene event but this time it's gonna switch back to my desktop scene and we're gonna add a 4,000 millisecond delay to this one. So all that this does is it switches to my just chatting scene, then four seconds later, it switches back to my desktop scene. So this is what it looks like in action. I'll be sitting here playing my game, then someone donates like a million dollars to me and then it switches to my webcam automatically. Then a few seconds later, it automatically switches back to my game scene. But this isn't gonna work quite yet. We've created the command, but we haven't added the trigger so that our chat can interact with our OBS scenes. So to do that, right click on the button again, click add Twitch triggers and click the plus sign and you'll see all sorts of options here. Bits, hosts and raids are pretty straightforward. You can set a minimum amount and a maximum amount. So if you only want to trigger a command using like 10 bits or something, you can do that. For subs, you can select tier one, tier two, tier three, even prime subs and gifted subs. For chat messages, you can have it Set up so like if someone in chat types in exclamation mark game it switches to your game scene for you and finally is the point redeemed so these will be your channel points you just have to make sure that you name it exactly the same as you've named it in your dashboard so whatever the reward name is 
that's what you'd enter in here the name has to be exact if the name isn't exact it will not work you'll also notice that it has a check mark that says add to request queue if you have this checked on all that means is if two people activate the same command twice in a row it's just going to queue up those actions if you have this checked off let's just say someone activates the command and while it's still going someone else activates the command it's not going to play again after i personally would recommend turning this on but totally up to you so now that you know the basics for setting up your own commands i want to give you some examples of things that i've set up for my own stream so the first is what i like to call the mlg cam so what happens is someone redeems a thousand channel points and it activates the room cam behind me for 60 seconds and after 60 seconds it goes back to my normal camera second one i have set up i think speaks for itself it's called the thug life reward my time's gonna change oh my god that's perfect <laughs> that one lined up perfectly the next one i haven't used on my stream yet but the way it works is viewers donate bits and then it activates a voice changer this one's what we call god mode so i'm sitting here pretending to stream in my normal voice and then someone in twitch chat drops 5,000 channel points and boom baby god mode activated but the best reward and this is one that nobody has redeemed yet so you could be the first one to redeem this if you rack up a hundred thousand channel points you can spend that to cancel my stream that's right you redeem a hundred thousand channel points my stream will automatically shut itself off. So if you want to do that, make sure to go in the link in the description box down below for my Twitch stream, I stream four nights a week. But that is just a taste of what you can do with this Leoran board app. It is very powerful. You can do so much with it. So try it out, play with it, and try to be really creative with it. And if you do manage to make something creative, share it with me. Tweet it at me. I got a Twitter now. That's right, I'm hip what of it and if you guys want to talk more about Leoran board or anything to do with streaming make sure to join the discord you know where that is i'm pointing at the description box and not my p with that being said i hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video i gotta go get some sleep so i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out homies